Hi folks, this is Chad here for Advice Watch and today I'm going to be demonstrating this ultimate five gallon bucket workmate, workbench, whatever you want to call it, and how you can make one too. Now you may have seen some other five gallon bucket workmates or workbenches throughout the internet, perhaps on YouTube, Pinterest, but you'll be hard pressed to find one that can do the things that this one can do with all the features and benefits that this one has. Now you can go out and buy a workmate perhaps at Home Depot or Lowe's. They can cost up to 150, 200, I've seen the 250 dollars for a workmate. Now there's a lot of different types of workmates including sawhorses, utility tables, portable workbenches, and keeper structures and therein lies a major problem in and of itself. See having multiple apparatuses wastes time, space, and money. There's also not many features and options available with these conventional structures. This one you can make for maybe 50 bucks, uh, depending on the features you want to add to it. Okay, so to start out with, uh, you can see that you can bevel this to whatever angle you need for whatever project or whatever piece you're working on. And I'll show you how to tighten that down later. But once you get that wherever you want it, you'll just tighten it down back here. Thing is some people might think that this is not going to be a strong work uh, surface this this part well you got this but you also got these two separate work uh, uh, areas here so they're little but they they can be used to separate and organize your your different phases of your project and a lot of people think that this is not strong enough it's strong enough to take a really good hard pounding as you can see I mean this is really strong and sturdy work surface so if you have uh, screws or something you can put it along this rim here and they won't get lost so I can put some screws here so I won't lose them right like that see wherever screws you need to put around here or washers and so another benefit is all the different attachments you can have like this vise so this is another way that I can save money is instead of buying a vise, an expensive vise that has a rotatable head, I can just buy this cheaper vise and then now I can have it rotate uh, and bevel to whatever angle I want. And I'll show you how to tighten that down later. Okay, so another benefit that this has is if I want to get to something in here, I can just come over here, I pull this down here to here, and now I can get to whatever I have in here. Yeah. And I can leave that open if I want to. I can still work with it like this if I need to. And still have access to that. Depend on what I'm going to do. And another thing that you can do with this, apart from transporting, that makes it easier is just pull it down. And myself, I like to work on the ground a lot. Now, there's several reasons why at times and depending on the project that you may want to work from the ground. For one thing, it gives you more work area from the floor space and in some cases more leverage. And so if you want to see how to make the ultimate five gallon bucket workmate workbench, yes, it's fairly easy to do, but there are some basic things you should know in general when working with five gallon buckets that'll save you a whole bunch of time and headache. And that's why I want you to go to advicestar.com under the projects and from there five gallon buckets and you'll see the basic tutorial, everything you should know about five gallon buckets and working with them and also how to make the, the five gallon bucket workmate workbench the different sections of it and other projects about five gallon buckets throughout the internet YouTube Pinterest we don't care if it's good we're gonna point to it and so you'll see a whole bunch of lists of five gallon bucket projects throughout the internet resources and references so again 
please go to advicestar.com under the projects and then five gallon buckets and you'll see a, a list of links that you can go to from there. And another reason we want you to go to the project section of advicestar.com is because we really do not know if we're going to stay on YouTube. Yes, we're starting out on YouTube as an experiment with video, but we do not know if we're going to continue using the YouTube platform. And therefore, any subsequent videos that we make may not be on YouTube for this project or any other. But if you go to our links on our website, you'll always be able to get to the different uh, links of each project in each video. And also, if you happen to run across any good five gallon bucket projects anywhere throughout the internet, please let us know and we will probably point to them. Note that we are a brand new channel and under YouTube's new rules, brand new channels can't have clickable links outside of YouTube. So you will have to manually type in this URL link. Now you can also go ahead and click on the subscribe button Again, however, I'm not guaranteeing that we're going to stay on YouTube at this particular point in time. But thank you anyways, and thank you for watching.